pale, the weekend's arrived again, so let's get the camera out and go and see what we can find. Um, not got anything planned really, just, just hunting around. Might try and look for the kingfisher this weekend. Um, did spot it just as we uh, parked the car and walked out, so um, you never know, there might be might be one around. Seems to be fairly regular again, the kingfisher does at the moment, so um, that's another one you can get quite addicted to when you're taking photos. So yeah, join me and um, let's see where we go. my head so yep let's keep an eye out see if it turns turns up again I think it might have seen me and don't know whether it spooked it but yeah let's see what happens Good morning all. Well, we're down at um, our local reserve at uh, Summer Lees again this morning. It's Saturday morning now. Um, tried Friday evening <coughs> to see what we could find. Um, found, well, we did see the barn owl. The barn owl took a, took a fly over our head, but um, uh, too quick to take any photos. Came out of nowhere, really. And then, uh, unfortunately, didn't see it again. Um, watched a bit of a kestrel hunting, which was quite nice. Uh, but uh, but other than that, nothing really last night. Um, there has been reports of a bitten scene um, in the last couple of days. Um, so I'm gonna. It's pretty windy today. A um, little bit damp as well. So um, I think what I'll do is I'm gonna go and sit in a couple of the hides uh, to start off with at least. Um, so probably won't be able to talk to you much. Uh, don't want to disturb other people in there. Um, but yeah, we'll go and go and see if there's anything around. Um, and um, see what we, see what we can find to post a little bit later. So um, yeah, let's go. I'm gonna have to really apologise if the sound quality is not great today uh, with this wind. It, it's and, and when I say that, that's not me. I mean the wind outside. Um, it's really rough out there, and, and probably affecting the microphone quite a bit. So, uh, so yeah, I can only apologise for that. And hopefully, um, you'll be able to hear me at, at most times throughout the video. So we've just got a little egret that's uh, just been outside the hide. So got a few nice, nice shots of that. Um, nice and close. It was getting a bit windswept though, so it couldn't really stand up too easy. Um, so poor thing was struggling a bit in the wind, but uh, but yeah, it's a nice little start. Yeah, right outside the hide. Uh, there was a heron outside when I walked in, but unfortunately I think I spooked it a little bit, so um, <clears throat> that one took off. But uh, yeah, that's, that's that's okay. That's a good start. Just got a couple of shots of a uh, great white egret trying to fly in this wind. Um, he's really struggling, he was all over the place, trying to trying to get himself to a, a spot on the lake where he wanted to land, and it was it was being buffered up and down and everywhere. So, uh, but uh, beautiful bird, um, really large egret, great white. Um, when you see the little egret and the great white together, there's a massive difference in size. Um, but yeah, lo lovely, absolutely, be absolutely beautiful birds as you can see, as you probably see from the images. So um, quite regular to visit to see it. So yeah, quite a few of them around. So outside this hide we're uh, we're in now, um, 
is a regular visitor to the hive, which is a, a, a couple, well, it's really a couple of visitors, which are a couple of snipes that uh, come out outside, but very difficult to spot until they start moving around because they really are well camouflaged. Um, not sure we'll get to see them today, they, they might be still around. Um, I have seen photos posted recently of them, um, but I have got some photos, if not from, from um, previous visit down here, some really nice photos of the snipe. So, yeah, let's, uh, we'll keep an eye out for those as well. Um, and see if they, uh, they pay us a little visit again this morning. They're quite famous down here, loads of photos taken of them. So, uh, um, yeah, but, but really, really nice birds, really nice, really nice markings. Um, uh, and they, they sort of bob around as they're feeding, which is quite interesting to watch. So, so yeah, let's, let's see how that goes. We've got a couple of uh, little oyster catchers uh, out by the cormorants just uh, on the little island out there. Um, oyster catch are quite interesting when they fly, they just sort of squeak as they fly in a very quite high pitch, you know, so uh, you always know when they're, when they're coming or, or leaving. Um, but they're just out there feeding at the moment, so... I think what we'll do, we'll go and move now and just go into the other hide. Um, just where the uh, where the, there has been sightings of the bit, and I think maybe we'll just spend maybe an hour or so just uh, just hunkered down in there. It might get a bit busy in there, so again, probably might not be able to do any video, but um, yeah, let's go and see what we can find in there. I was just about to leave the hide and um, move on to the next one, and have just spotted the snipe in the grass. Really hard to see. Struggling to get any video on it. It's tucked away at the moment, and not not too far away, but but far enough to be able to hide in the grass at the moment, feeding away. So it might might come out into the open, but um, we'll just give it a couple of minutes before we move on, and and, and see if anything, uh, you know, if we can get any better images of it. And, and say I've got some images from previously anyway, so I'd love you guys to see what it looks like. Um, um, so yeah, so let, let's see, just see if we can get a bit of video, I'm not, not sure at the moment. Just dropped into the uh, pioneer hide now. Um, it's uh, much more out of the wind here, actually, so it might be might be a little bit interesting. Might find something coming into shelter a little bit because the wind's coming from behind the hide, putting the trees around the back to protect it. Um, so uh, yeah, so let's have a little look here and see if we can find anything. Nobody in here at the moment, so I'm not going to talk to you. But um, you know, don't want to disturb people if uh, if other people come in. So uh, we'll just see how it goes. So we're nicely uh, settled down in the hide here. Um, just looking at this is this is a spot where the the bitten has been sighted in the last few days. So um, that would be really great. That's something I've, I've not got. That could be another challenge for this year. I haven't seen a bitten at all. Um, never seen one. Never photographed one. So um, yeah, that would that would be quite nice. Um, so we're going to keep our eyes peeled, give it a bit of time, and see what turns up over here. Um, a little bit more sheltered so hopefully you can hear me a bit better um, with the video um, so quite nice quite peaceful um, and, and yeah and anything good turn up so so yep let's see
must take your rubbish home, guys. Looks like that time of year, the ducks have just been having a good old scrap. Uh, I think one, one too many males to the party by the looks of it, from what I could see. So, um, yeah, uh, not a happy bunch of bunnies or ducks, should I say. Okay, so we made it back to the car. Uh, still really blustery out there. Um, nothing too exciting today, um, but plenty around. Lot, lots of stuff around. We've seen the little egret, we've seen the great egret. Uh, seen um, some of the oyster catchers um, and, and the snipe sort of hidden away. Um, so plenty around, nothing too exciting, but it's always great to be out. You know, it's, it's just fantastic just to get out there with the camera, see what you can find and uh, uh, it's just that anticipation again really so um, have a great day whatever you're doing out there and I'll catch up with you again soon and don't forget to drop a like below if you like the video um, and uh, and yeah please feel free to subscribe so you can uh, follow my other videos and uh, I hope to catch up with you again soon bye for now